Well, it's January 1st, 2021. Happy New Year to each and every one of you. I hope somehow that 2021 brings some awesomeness your way. You know, the whole music business traditionally seems to just shut down over the holidays. You know, sometime around December 15th or 17th, right through to the new year, January 3rd or 4th, it's like the whole music industry just shuts down. And, you know, I've always used this kind of natural shutdown in the business to address what I call studio housekeeping. It's exactly the time that I like to be doing all of my proper archiving of everything that I've worked on over the last year, software upgrades or installs. I'm not a big fan of messing with my system in the middle of projects. So this kind of week, I've always looked at it as a perfect opportunity to get on top of that stuff, to prepare and get ready for the next year. Well, in my own experience, this time of year can also be incredibly vulnerable to a self-employed recording engineer. And I know some of you are going to be able to relate to what I'm talking about. I can't tell you the number of times, particularly earlier on in my career, that I would enter into a new day of a year like we're doing today with nothing on the books, absolutely not one gig scheduled, with zero income on the horizon. Yeah, I don't think I have to explain what that feels like to anybody. Any of you who are self-employed, whether you're in this business or not, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Sooner or later, in your self-employed world, you're going to be looking at zero work, nothing on the books, and no income coming in. And it absolutely can be one of the most discouraging things. I mean, in 35 plus years of doing this business, I can promise you that there have been times that I've almost left the business completely as a left turn, just freaked out over income and, and, and lack of it and lack of gigs and stuff, right? For today's session, I want to share something that's really important to grasp about that idea. Because if you're going into a new year with that kind of discouragement and that kind of vulnerability that I'm talking about, that I've felt personally many, many times, oh man, this does not do your business any good. When you're carrying that kind of energy around, you broadcast that in a really, really big way. Everyone around you will know that something's off. If you're not excited about what it is you're doing, no one else is gonna get excited, I promise you. So one of the huge, major discoveries that I made in this business to absolutely overcome this and turn it into a positive is to just get busy, make work, even if it's non-commissioned work, even if you got to go down somewhere and volunteer, get busy because there's something that it does to your psyche when you enter that new year and, and you've got something to focus on and put your energy into and you're excited about it, you broadcast that and magically the phone rings. I promise you, I've literally been stretched right to the limit just wondering what is going to happen next. Am I even going to survive next month? And you tweak your attitude, you, you, you make that adjustment in your brain about how you feel about what you're doing that given day. You know, you give yourself some purpose, you get yourself busy in your own project. What that does is it, is it translates to an energy that you end up broadcasting in a really good way. And I don't even understand, the universe has to get involved, but I'm talking people feel that energy where you're not even around them. They can literally feel it on a different continent. I know some of you might roll your eyes at this, but in my own personal experience, this works. When you adjust your attitude and you enter into that new year with a positive, excited attitude, magic things happen, including the phone. It starts to ring. I've had this happen more times than I can even count. It's amazing what happens if you enter with the right attitude, doors open up, the phone starts ringing. And there have been times that I've entered January 1st with nothing on the books and two weeks into the year, I'm freaking out about how I'm gonna fit everything in. And I mean, this happens all the time. It's all about your attitude, right? is so, so important if you're self-employed and you're making everything happen on your own. You've got to be excited about what you're doing. You know, if you're wandering into that project or, or that phase or 
the first of January, whatever it is with that kind of feeling of vulnerability and that, oh my goodness, how am I going to pay those bills and all this negative energy, you carry that around and you broadcast it. And as a result, the phone doesn't ring. It's, it's an amazing concept. As soon as you tweak your brain, land on that January 1st and get excited about anything, I don't care what it is, it's like a magic process that happens and the phone starts ringing. The very next problem you're gonna have is you're gonna have too many gigs and not enough time to put them all in. As self-employed people, there are so many little tweaks that we can make that make such a difference in what's being broadcasted, so to speak, okay? Things like, you know, if you work in your own home studio like I do, one of the beauties of having a home studio is, you know, the freedom of being able to just roll down to the studio whenever you want. Well, I've been known to come down to the studio in my pajamas, working at like seven in the morning and stuff, right? Just come up with an idea and start doing something. But I promise you, any serious work that I do in the studio, I am not in my pajamas, okay? And I know this might sound silly, but I get dressed and I come to work just like I would any job. And now that might seem like no big deal, but it makes a big difference when you treat yourself like a professional in your own business other people will. Our own health is just such an important topic. And for so many of us self-employed, oh man, it gets neglected, right? Why? Because, you know, you're trying to work around the clock. You're trying to make your income. And a lot of times you just get buried, right? The studio just sucks you in. And if you allow too much of that to happen without going outside and breathing fresh air and getting some exercise, it absolutely starts to affect everything about you. It's all about finding the right balance, right? You wanna find purpose. And one of the best solutions to exuding the right energy and broadcasting the right thing and, and allowing that phone to ring is making sure that you've got a positive mental attitude. You have to do this. So today, if you're looking at your business and there's nothing on the calendar, make work starting right now. Get busy doing something go volunteer doing something, whatever it takes to get busy because there's something in the universe that happens every single time. You get busy, you get excited, you get focused, the phone rings and guess what? It's another gig and the phone rings again and then the phone rings again. I strongly encourage each and every one of you to enter this new year with a killer attitude. I know there's some craziness going on, all of our businesses have been radically affected by this pandemic. The music business is crazy right now. I don't even know what's gonna happen, but you've gotta have a positive attitude. You've just gotta sort of go, I don't know, man, this 2021 is gonna somehow work out. I don't even have all the answers, but I'm gonna get excited about something starting today. And if you have that attitude, I promise you the phone's gonna ring and things are gonna start happening. You know, this is just such an important lesson that I've learned personally in my life, and it applies to everything in my life. It's all about attitude. Well, thank you very much for sitting in on today's session. Happy New Year, and let's all get excited starting now.